Right, this is a place value chart and we're going to use this today to help us to times and divide by 10 and 100. So looking at the place value chart, this is our thousands column, hundreds, tens, units. Then we have our decimal numbers. We have our tenths and our hundredths, okay? So if you remember, our decimal numbers are part towards a whole number. So we're going to use this today to help us times and divide by 10 and 100. So how do you think we can use this to help us, okay? Have a little think and think about how can that help us times and divide by 100? What can we do using it, okay? Right, so let's have a look. So let's, for example, say we have got 8.56 times 100. So I'm just going to write that there. 8.56 times 100, okay? How can we use it? So first of all, we've put the original number into our place value. So 8.56 is telling us we've got eight units, five tenths and six hundred. So if you look there, we've got 8.56. If you remember, this is our decimal numbers, okay? So the way we can use it, if we're making it, times and it, sorry, by a hundred, we're making it two times bigger in value, okay? So what we do, we actually, using our place value chart is move each digit up in value two times okay so our eight would go up in value if we move it up once we times in it by 10 to make it up go 10 times in value if we move it up twice we're making it go up a hundred times in value so our eight units would actually move into our eight hundred column okay so can you see, we've timed it by 100 and it's gone up in value two places in our place, value chart. So it's gone from units to 100, okay? What we would then do is we would move the next digit. So five, we do it again. So five would go up two values. So our five tenths would go to five tens, okay? And we do the same again with our hundredths. And our hundredths would go to units. So that gives us a new answer of 856, okay? So 8.56 times 100 is 856, okay? Right, let's think of some more questions and how we can use our place value chart. So if you see there, it's really simple. You've got a really simple method of working out times in by 10 and 100. Okay, so we've learned that when we times by 100, it goes up in value by two places, okay? So let's imagine we're dividing by 100. So let's have 726 divided by 100, okay? So if we times and it goes up in value by two places, what do you think happens if we divide? So if you, we divide, remember, we're making the number smaller because we're sharing it out, okay? We're sharing this total number out. So what we actually do is when we times it goes up in value, but when we divide, it goes down in value. So if we divide it by 100, it's going to go down in value by two places in our place value chart. Okay, so first of all, let's place our original number in our place value chart. So 726, okay? What we're going to do is divide it by 100 and each number is going to go down in value by two, okay? So let's start with our 700, and it's going to go down in value two places in our place value chart. So our 700 is actually going to go to seven units. So it's moved two places down, it's gone from a hundred to units, okay? So we know we're going to have a decimal number there, so we're going to move our two down in value. So one, two, so our two now becomes tenths, two tenths, going to do the same to our six units so our six units goes down in value by two places and that becomes six hundredths so 726 divided by a hundred equals 7.26 okay just going to run through some examples with times in by 10 and dividing by 10 so before i do that i want you to think about 
how we might do it. So if we know that if we're dividing by 10 and 100, it changes the place value by two places, what do we think dividing or times in by 10 might do? Have a little think, okay? Right, so hopefully you should have guessed or thought that because it goes in, changes in value by two columns for 100, by 10 it will change in value by one column. So let's start with a calculation. Let's have 54 times 10, okay? So we times in, so it's going to go up, okay? We're going to move our digits in our place value up, which means we're going to move them to the left, okay? We times in by 10, so it's going to move columns by one place. It's going to go up in value by one place in our place value chart. So first of all, put your original number in your place value chart. So 54, going to times it by 10. So each number is going to go up in value. So my 50 will go into a 500 and my four units will go to four tens, okay? So I've got 500, four tens, and I'm going to put zero units, okay? Because I haven't got anything else to move. But if I've got 500, four tens, and I've not got anything else, I know I've got zero units. So my answer is 540. Right, so let's have a look at dividing by 10. So let's say I've got 24 divided by 10. So if it's gone up by one column, so up in value by times in by 10, it's going to go down in value if we're dividing by 10. So it's going to move down one place, okay? So it's going to move to the right. So let's put our original number in our place value chart. So 24. And we're going to divide. So let's move one place to the right. So if we divide in our tens first and it's going to move down in value, our 20 is going to go into two units, okay? We're then going to move our four and our four is going to go down in value and it's going to go into tenths. So 24 divided by 10 would give, give us 2.4, okay? So that is what you're going to do today. You're going to be times in and dividing by 10 and 100. So remember, 100, you do, it changes value by two places and 10 changes value by one place. So if you remember those key facts, it will help you, okay? So if you draw this place value chart in your book and use it to help, or you might find that after a while you can do this mentally by using your knowledge of the place value chart and being able to move the numbers in your head, okay? So good luck with today's learning.